of Parliament. All right, before we do that, let's just listen in to uh, some of the, um, uh, the, the statements that were made yesterday by legislators during that second reading. Element of crisis is not established in law. It is the political temperatures deliberately engineered to cause problems. Mr. Speaker, the same engineering is being called upon to visit the House when it comes to debating this law. Mr. Speaker, if you check on the issues that are being addressed by this piece of law, those who are fighting it are describing the story of timing. They do not say in any part of uh, the legislation there is a problem. They are insisting that the timing is wrong. But they do not tell you when somebody went to the Supreme Court to seek the nullification of the presidential election, they had not anticipated to create a monumental problem like they have created for the country. Mr. Speaker, when the Supreme Court asked the country to go and prepare for a repeat in 60 days, Mr. Speaker, you have seen the mischief played. Instead of preparing for elections, we have had problems of people who do not want an election. And this is what has been bringing the country into confusion. Mr. Speaker, this should have been the most stable democracy in the world. After the September 1 ruling, everybody expected to be, to, there to be chaos. There was no chaos. So I have seen a lot of hypocrisy among the donors and among purported civil society who are not so civil nowadays to invite a moment of instability in a country which is not there. Mr. Speaker, if it was any other country, in Africa in particular, there would have been bloodshed in the next 48 hours, which nobody would have come to stop. Mr. Speaker, we thank the institutions of this country, which are intact. Mr. Speaker, if you look at the stool, it has three legs, just like the state, the legislator, the executive, and the, the judiciary. Mr. Speaker, the country can do without a judiciary for a moment. Mr. Speaker. Sir, never. <laughs> hmm. Well, all right. So some of the sentiments uh, that were put on the floor of the House yesterday. Let me now bring in Dan Manzo, who's the member of parliament uh, for Makueni, but he's also a lawyer. I'm happy that, you know, he's a legal mind, so he'll be able to help us know yes. exactly where we are constitutionally and also politically. All right. So first things first, what is this curveball that Ray Lodinga has thrown in the country all about? Yes, first of all, there are these election laws be made in Parliament. Mm -hmm. You remember the last time we made that law, uh, it was, you know, with the participation of all the political parties, mm -hmm. the Keraitu Orengo team. Uh, now, this time around, uh, Jubilee has gone by itself. In fact, if you look at that law generally, mm -hmm. especially on election offences, it's good law. If you look at the amendments generally, they are good. Mm -hmm. It is true that Parliament can make law anytime, amend law anytime. Mm -hmm. But the, in this particular case, uh, they, they prepared a rope, hoping to, to hang uh, the NASA team with it. But unfortunately, that's now what uh, the right honorable Raila did to cut that rope mm -hmm. together Which with the NASA team. This is whereby they say if, if, if one of the candidates that abandons mm. uh, the race for some reason or another, uh, then one can, the other candidate is declared winner. It was mm -hmm. skewed specifically for the current circumstances mm. because there are just the two of them. Uh, law is supposed to be made for prosperity, for the future, mm. for everybody. Uh, the, the curious thing about that particular law, which favors the current president, uh, you know, t uh, and going through temporary incumbency mm -hmm. under Article 134A, is that he's the one to sign it into law. That amounts to conflict of interest, and uh, it's also a question of ethics. Is it ethical? Is it, uh, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. law is law. It's not about right. feelings or ethics or morality. All right. But sometimes, you know, you have to bring in the angle of morality. Uh, uh, so it's a very thin line to argue, and, uh, and I believe uh, now things have changed. 
Um, there is no way you can swear President Uhuru. There is no way you can proceed, you can proceed with the elections. There is no law to support that. Uh, and I'm surprised some of the members of parliament argue that you can even suspend judiciary. Mm. You can only suspend judiciary through a referendum, which is a very long process. And there is no country in the world without judiciary. All right. Only Kenya now is looking down upon judiciary. All right. So you've said quite a number of things that there's no, he will not be declared president, um, you know, will not have an election. Is that what NASA was um, looking at with Raila Odinga's withdrawal? No, no. We are looking at, at a situation whereby IPC will follow the judgment of the Supreme Court, uh, satisfy all the requirements. If you see, at the, you look at the reducible minimums, they stem out of the court judgment. The, 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 there, are, there are things which will level the playing ground. The moment you don't have such, that you are just going to repeat what happened in the last election, which is nullified now, and it means you are going to have another nullification. So the better way out of the two ways is to get things right now, within the law, mm -hmm. and we go for elections. Whoever wins fairly, you know, freely and fair, we will all support. We are one country at the end of the day. It's not the, the world of the politicians. You know, we have many Kenyans right. who gave their vote to politicians right. hoping to be protected. All right, so it, you know, you're saying if we'll have elections, we will have them, but not with Raila Odinga, with anybody else who's going to present themselves. You know now, the, the situation under the law is such that uh, uh, now it is open for everybody. Everybody, everybody will run, okay. including our court. I understand that mm. his, his judgment is mm. due this morning on whether to be, to be included as a candidate or not. Of course, that judgment has already been overtaken by events um, uh, of yesterday, and uh, the situation has changed. It can't really favor him. All but right. now he has an opportunity to present his candidature again. That's if we go that, that, that direction. All right, there, will be, there is no other direction in law. Really? There is only one we'll route left mm -hmm. to follow the Constitution. Mm -hmm. <coughs> which is that Elections Act. So we will go back to uh, the conversation shortly. But for now, I just want us to...